Hey everyone, we do have an update in the case of little Serenity McKinney, and unfortunately it is an absolutely heartbreaking one. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep my voice from cracking, but her little body was found in a wooded area in Bullock County, and it was an area near the 1300 block of Skyview Road in West Point near the Jefferson County, Bullock County line. Now, we know that her mother, Abby McKinney, and Abby's boyfriend, Dakota Hill, were arrested in Kansas last week, and they have now been brought back to Kentucky, and they both have been charged with murder and abuse of a corpse. Now, I am unsure how Serenity was found. I'm unsure if someone spoke up, whether it was Abby or Dakota or someone else, and police were led to the location of her body or if they received a tip of some sort or if police just happened to be searching that area and found her. Serenity had not been seen since sometime around Christmas of 2020 by her other family members and I believe the last time anyone had talked to her on the phone was right around Father's Day or before Father's Day of 2021. So she's been missing for quite a while and we're unsure how long she has been out there in that wooded area. Definitely not the outcome that any of us hoped for. I am glad that they were able to find her so now they can put her to rest and I hope that poor family is able to find some kind of peace now that they know where she is. I think we were all really, really hoping that Serenity was out there somewhere safe and that Dakota and Abby had just given her to someone else to take care of, but unfortunately that is not at all what happened. An autopsy was performed by the Kentucky Medical Examiner this morning, but they of course have not yet released a cause of death for Serenity, and those details may not come out for a while. Sometimes they come out very quickly, but if there is an ongoing investigation, it usually can take quite some time. I will never ever in a million years understand how a mother can let something like this happen to their child or let someone else harm their child or if she had nothing to do with it, how she could cover up for someone else harming her child. And that's your one job as a parent to protect your child no matter what. I'm sure there will be more details coming out soon. Some of you may have already seen this in the news, but I wanted to get it out there because I know there are some people who watch my channel and may not necessarily watch other channels that are also covering this case, but please keep Serenity's family in your prayers. They are going through the absolutely worst thing imaginable. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. Please give them some privacy. They do not need people contacting them, asking them a thousand questions right now. Some, I know most people won't, but there are people out there that, you guys know what I mean. There are people out there that have no filter and don't know when is the wrong time to approach someone or say something. So just give the family privacy and please keep them in your prayers. Rest in peace, sweet little serenity. You didn't deserve any of this. And we may never know why this happened, but there will be justice and Abby and Dakota are going to pay for what they've done. And I fully believe that if they don't pay for it in this life, they will pay it and pay for it in the afterlife. But, uh, I just wanted to bring that update to everyone. I'm sorry that I don't have something happier to talk about because this is absolutely devastating and I'm heartbroken. And I just feel so bad for her family, but I'm going to go. I just wanted to let you all know what has transpired as of today. So I will talk to you all later. Take care.